Alright everyone, welcome to another episode of the Linux Guy. Today I'm going to talk about Office Suites, which is a tired old topic on Linux. It is a tired old topic because a lot of people who want to switch often look at Microsoft Office and say I can't escape from it. Well, I'm going to talk about some alternatives today, and there's two main ones I'm going to discuss, but I will mention a few others as well. Right here I have some Office stuff installed. You'll see some of it's not exactly parallels, but you've probably seen LibreOffice. You might not have seen only Office, which is kind of the one that is newish and really awesome. But I'll go with LibreOffice first. Honestly, LibreOffice Writer is basically your typical old Microsoft Word clone. Now, its functionality is almost identical, and there are some tweaks you can do to this. Chris Titus did a good video on how to make this look more like Microsoft Office and to even give you the same fonts and everything, so I'm not going to go through this, but LibreOffice is a nice choice because it is basically FOSS. It's free open source software, and it's been around forever. It's been developed very well, and you can do a lot with it. If you're going to be working by yourself and only ever doing stuff in Linux, this is probably the way to go, and I would strongly recommend checking it out if you've never seen it before and giving it a try because I think you'll find if you're comfortable with Word, you'll find yourself very comfortable with this pretty fast. Another thing to know, because it's been around for so long, there's a lot of plugins, so you can get plugins for the spreadsheet or the writer and get it to have functionalities that maybe it didn't originally have. That'll make it do everything you wanted it to do so that it can compete with Microsoft Office. So it's a powerful program. There's a big problem, though, that it has, and that is compatibility. Because it is FOSS, they will push you to use their open formats to save files. Microsoft Office does not like these, so if you work in an office building where Microsoft Office is king, you might be able to convince your IT department to install LibreOffice, but it could be to your own peril. You might have all sorts of compatibility issues, and that's where this program comes in. So this program is relatively new. It's called OnlyOffice. It's sort of shaken the open source community a lot because it integrates with Nextcloud, which for any of you who know what Nextcloud is, it's like an open source Dropbox or Google Drive, except it can do a whole lot more than they can. I have a Nextcloud, and I love it, and I do have OnlyOffice integrated, which is really, really convenient turns every web browser into basically Google Docs, but it's totally open source and totally run by you, which is awesome. That's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about the standalone application, which is also free and open source. It is better than LibreOffice for compatibility because it has been made to be as compatible as possible. So let's make a new document here, and you'll see this will look strikingly like Microsoft Office, even though it's not. It has the ribbons, things are in similar places, and now when I go to Save As, it assumes I want to save it as a docx. Now, it's compatible with the ODT format, which is the open document text format, and I can do other formats. I can do RTF. I can save it as a PDF, but this one, being the default, is really great because now I can save with that Arial font as Microsoft font, and if I save it, I can save it as, and there we go. So our default is probably going to open this with LibreOffice, and it did, and it looks okay, but you see when we open it with LibreOffice, the font doesn't look quite white. It is Arial. It does have the. It does have access to that font, but the formatting is just not quite right. Now I don't have Microsoft Word on here because I can't stand that software. But if I did and I opened it, you'd probably see like some gray boxes, and that's got to do with the rendering of an ODT file. But because I saved it with only Office instead of with LibreOffice, this actually would open in Word looking real good. it would actually look exactly like it does here. We rendered the same. Another nice thing about this is if you've learned to use your Office Suite on a relatively newer version of the program, you'll be very familiar with the heading stuff, you'll be familiar with these formatting tools, and this is gonna, you're gonna feel more at home here. Once again, there are plugins. I will say that LibreOffice has better plugins than OnlyOffice at this time because it's a relatively new program. However, there are some, and I'm sure they're only going to grow, especially with the Nextcloud integration. If you're looking for an Office suite for Linux, then I would definitely check out both of these. They're both excellent tools. I'm also going to make some honorable mentions. If your computer is older, you can use Mousepad, for example, as just a simple text editor. There's also this suite made for LXDE, but you can install it on anything. Abbey Word and also the spreadsheet and presentation tool that come with the Abbey Word suite. You can see there's a screenshot of it here. It looks a lot like LibreOffice. The big benefit of here is it's lighter weight. However, in my experience, it's not that much lighter weight. So 
if you really need to squeeze performance out of your computer because it's older, check this program out. Probably not going to need this for most modern machines though, but it's just something I wanted to mention for those of you who can't get OnlyOffice or LibreOffice to work. As always, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.